a computer keyboard, someone dons headphones, words appear, equal access, braille keys, a powered wheelchair in a computer lab, equal access, universal design in computer labs. On campus, computers are a fact of life. Good education today requires access to technology. In planning a computer lab, universal design is crucial. That means thinking about every potential visitor's abilities and disabilities. Dan Comden. It's important to think about universal design early in the design process, if that's possible. The Americans with Disabilities Act makes it clear that equitable access is a requirement. Access technology consultant. Visitors to your lab may have obvious disabilities, such as blindness, hearing impairments, or mobility impairments. Or they might have disabilities that are not apparent, such as low vision or learning disabilities. Carolee Woody. As we look at all of the things that we're going to need for a lab, we need to consider everybody that's going to be using it or everybody that's potentially going to be using it. Student access and computing. By planning ahead, you can make sure everyone has a positive experience in your lab. The first step is getting there. A woman in a power chair looks up a long flight of steps. If they can't find the lab, they can't use the lab. Eliminate those external barriers. Consider these examples. Parking areas with spaces for wheelchair users. Clear paths to the building with ramps if necessary. Building entrances at least 32 inches wide with thresholds no higher than one half inch. Ramps or elevators inside. Elevator controls marked in braille and accessible from a sitting position. Clear entrances and hallways with protruding obstacles removed. Wheelchair accessible restrooms near the lab with high visibility signs. Once they've found you, visitors should feel comfortable using the lab. Staff members may need some communication training even when they mean well. Don't do it this way. Hello? Hello? Hi, could you show me where the voice output computers are? Oh sure, they're right over there. The woman with the white cane looks up. A woman in a chair beside another woman. Will she be needing any help? The standing woman looks at the seated woman. A woman enters using a cane. Oh, let me help you. Oh no, I'm yeah. fine. Okay, well there must be something I can do. No. Obviously, there are better ways to communicate. Be aware of people's disabilities in ways that are helpful, but don't treat the people as helpless. When you're working with someone who has a disability, keep in mind that you're dealing with a person first. Well, it sounds like you have taken on quite an adventure. Talk directly to that person and find out if assistance is desired before giving it. Hi, I want to help you find something. I'm looking for a computer that I could use with one hand. We have those. You do? Follow me. All right, right this will. way. Thank you very much. Pay attention to what the person really needs. Hello? Hello. Hi, could you show me where the voice output computers are? Yes, they're just to your left. Uh, would you like me to show you? Oh, sure, thanks. Oh. The main thing to remember is that people with disabilities are perfectly capable of asking for help if they need it. So don't just plunge in and offer help unless it's really apparent that somebody is struggling. Um, it's usually better to wait until they ask for assistance. Now for the lab itself. Look at the physical details for users. Remember that people with various abilities will be using the room. For example, words appear. Large print, high contrast signs for those with visual impairments. Braille labels on computers for blind users. Wide clear aisles for wheelchair users. We really try to focus on making uh, wide and open pathways from our access points, particularly for uh, students that have uh, physical disabilities. Damien Comins, computer lab manager. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah. Do you have any computers on to put the food? Yes, we do. We try to make sure that there's a lot of clearance on, on uh, desk heights so that students can get underneath things and that there's generally um, kind of a large workspace. Okay. You can join yourself Some adjustable tables with wheelchair accessible adjustment controls. Ah. Document holders for ease in reading printed material. Controls on computers, printers, scanners and other technology that can be reached from a seated position. Another thing to consider is the accessibility of your lab handouts or documents. 
be prepared to provide lab documents in large print and braille. Put them in an accessible format on your website. Internet access will make those documents available to all lab users, including students who are blind and using speech output systems to read the text. Put it under the screen and you can change the size with the center knob. If you provide a magnifying system, a visitor with low vision can read your printed material. A large magnifying glass is a lower cost option. Design the documents themselves in a clear and consistent format. This is especially helpful to people with learning disabilities. Finally, be sure that printed materials are within easy reach from a variety of heights and that furniture doesn't block access. A woman wheels herself away from a display of handouts. Once everything is in place, think about people actually using the computers. Another place to begin is CNC's computer training. Plan on having adaptive technology available, but don't worry about trying to anticipate every possible request. Stuart Olson. People mostly are interested on the adjustable table, on our special keyboards, and on braille production. The main thing is to have the basics that most people are going to need. You don't have to have every little thing that's out there. So then I just, Can you find the message area? Yeah, it's right here. It's important for staff to know about the basics and to be able to talk to the clients about what those basics are. And if a student is in need of a more involved accommodation, then those staff need to know where to go to make those additional arrangements. Keep it simple at first, adding new technology as requested. For people with visual impairments, you might want to start with large print key labels, software to enlarge screen images, and large monitors, speech output systems, braille conversion software, and embosser. For people with mobility impairments, you could provide a trackball, wrist and forearm rests, an adjustable table, for all users, but especially those with learning disabilities, grammar and spell checkers should be available. And finally, be sure that web pages and other electronic resources offered in your lab are designed to be accessible to people with a variety of disabilities. For example, provide text alternatives to graphic images. Almost every unit on campus now has uh, a website uh, to document their services and provide electronic resources. And most of these people who are developing these websites don't have the expertise in how to make them accessible. And so in most cases, it's, it's useful for that person to work with the central computing organization staff to develop strategies for making an accessible website. Cheryl Bergstaller. The key to all of this is simply equal access. Everyone who needs to use your lab should be able to do so comfortably. As you plan services in your computing facility, consider all of your potential users, including those with disabilities. Make sure everyone feels welcome. Ask yourself if visitors can get to the facility, access lab information and other printed materials, and access equipment and software. A student uses headphones and types. Make sure also that staff are trained to support people with disabilities and have a plan in place to respond to specific requests in a timely manner. With those key issues in mind, you'll be able to make your lab accessible to everyone. To get started, develop policies and procedures that assure access to lab facilities, computers, and electronic resources for people with disabilities. Consider accessibility in the procurement process. Include students with disabilities in planning and evaluating lab products and services. In key lab documents, include pictures that show lab users with diverse characteristics with respect to race, gender, age, and disability. Also in lab documents, state your commitment to universal access and include procedures for requesting disability-related accommodations. Make signs with high contrast and large print. Make all information resources available in accessible formats. Have frequently requested assistive technology on hand and add products when students with disabilities request them. Train staff on accessible products in the lab appropriate communication, and procedures for addressing requests for accommodations. To help you in your plans, there are many resources for locating and selecting assistive technology, for designing accessible web pages, and for dealing with other lab accessibility issues. To learn more, contact DOIT on the web, www.washington.edu.
edu slash doit phone voice or tty 206-685-DOIT address do it university of washington box 355-670 seattle washington 98195-5670 director cheryl bergstaller Funding for the creation and distribution of this video was provided by the National Science Foundation. Copyright 2007 and 2006, University of Washington.